So on day two of our Holy Week series, we're looking at Monday. Now, what happens Monday is, is a twofold event. It's believed that these two things happened on this coming Monday. The first is Christ curses the fig tree. If you'll remember the scriptures, he goes in and the fig tree's bearing no fruit. So he utters a curse to it and it shrivels up and the disciples see that it has died. And oftentimes this is seen as a metaphor for those who are fruit bearing on the outside or could bear fruit on the outside, but on the inside, they're dead. Meaning that they walk the walk, they talk the talk, but internally they're dead. And, and this is often referred to as a stab or a metaphor towards the Pharisees, the Sadducees, right? This is looking at the religious leaders of the time, but I think it's very plausible that this could have been a metaphor for you and I. When we are, are full of the Spirit, we're alive on the inside, we bear fruit, Fruit comes from what Christ has given us. But when we're dead inside, when we're not full of the fruit of the Spirit, when we're not full of, of Christ's living word, right? We're dead on the inside. We don't have the ability to bear fruit, and so we wither and die. Without Christ within us, we wither and die. And so the first step Christ takes on Monday is to give this wonderful metaphor for what happens if you go without Christ and without bearing fruit. But the second thing happens in the temple. And this is from the Gospel of Luke chapter 19. It says, He went into the temple and began to throw out those who were selling. And he said, It is written, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. You see, the, the crazy thing is that Christ came into town triumphant as king. And, and crowds were amazed and in awe and shocked at what he could do. But they expected him to go do this to the Romans, not to his own people, not to his own brothers and sisters. But instead, Christ didn't go towards the Roman government and start flipping things on their heads. He goes into the temple of his father and he starts flipping tables. And he starts casting people out of the, the temple grounds because they are, are causing pain and harm to God's house. And you see, I think that this is a carry on or a continuation of the metaphor of the fig because truthfully what Jesus is doing is he's casting out the dead branches, right? He's getting rid of those who aren't truly there for worship. They're there to gain a buck, right? They're there incorrectly. They're going against what God has called them to do. They're making money when they should be making worship. And so Jesus has to go in and he has to start his ministry on Monday. He has to start the week coming in triumphant and victorious on Sunday only to start driving out his Jewish brothers and sisters on Monday. And church, this is a bold decision because Jesus knew what was coming, right? It's not like he was, he was question, uh, questioning God about what was coming. He didn't know what was coming. He knew what was coming. He knew that by the end of the week, he would experience pain and suffering. He knew that if he continued to press the buttons of the religious leaders, there would be sorrow. But yet he did it anyways. He still had to flip tables. And so church, my, my hope is that through this video, we can become bold like Christ. Knowing that no matter what comes our way, no matter what we may face, we can still be strong in what we truly believe. We can be, still be strong in the Father and know that if we have to flip tables in a righteous anger, we're doing it not from our own understanding, but from God's understanding, from his word. And that when we do things for the word of God and through the word of God, we can truly start to bear fruit. And so church, that's my prayer, my hope for you from this Holy Monday. Let me pray. Father God, we come to you now and I pray, Father, for bold, confident strength in you, Father God. We pray that it wouldn't be our strength or, or our understanding, but yours that is flowing from within us to reach the community around us. Father God, if there's a time where we need to flip tables, where we need to go in and, and have a righteous anger like Jesus does here, we pray that it would be truly that, a righteous anger. Not an anger out of our own understanding, not a, an anger out of our, our own contemplation of the scriptures, Father God. 
but an anger truly from you, Father God, that, that we can use to grow the kingdom, to, to show someone to Christ. And so, Father, we thank you for this Holy Monday. And we pray, Father God, that you would open our hearts, our minds, our souls, and our ears to you to be bold and to have strength, Father God, that is only coming from you. We pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.